welcome. Feel energized, feel energized. I know a lot of you guys are feeling a little bit tired, <laughs> a little bit confused, a little bit all over the place with the full moon eclipse happening right now. So let's bring some nice energy and move your body nice and slow if you want or fast. Bring that energy up, up, up. <laughs> I'm bringing today is healing, healing with the rose, with the unk, and also my little beetle, which is the da 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 da, -da scarab. <laughs> so with this, I'm bringing you power of power of your life, protection, good luck, healing. And the rose, so much more. I will explain to you guys. I'm just waiting for every day to gather. I'm gonna do the healing. I did brought my pyramid today. So today's healing. Healing. Like we're gonna pass this full moon. We're gonna release, release what we need to release. And we're gonna bring in the fresh, what we need to bring in. That way, you guys are head on into a good start of after the full moon. How is that? How is that? <laughs> Hello, let me let me do a sharing. Let me do my sharing here. Feel free to share for me too, guys. I appreciate that if you want to share the love. I do appreciate that, guys. Really big time. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Okay. In the meantime, let's move to the music. Let's do some sharing. There we go. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. Share the page. doing some sharing here you guys know I'm pretty slow at this you know <laughs> okay let's see share to groups there's my group there we go I think I've done enough I think I'm done enough <laughs> oh my goodness okay you know I'm not I'm always, when it comes to sharing, I'm so slow, guys. I'm like, super slow. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Hi, Marlene. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Who's here? Who's here? Let's see who's here. Um... Hi, Ida. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Hi, Vanessa. Who else is here? Oh, my God. You guys are so awesome. Let let me make sure I did share it in this end here. Okay, I did, I did, I did. Okay, good, because a lot of people don't know yet how to follow me here, follow first, and then they'll get all notifications. But a lot of people still don't know, and again, it took me, it took me a long time to do that, to figure it out. Uh, when I finally figure out, and I'm telling everybody how to do it, but it's still, I was told many times, and I didn't know. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I sent some invitations. I, you know, I just pressed a bunch of buttons. <laughs> um, hi, Sherry. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, let me just, um, just want to take something out of here. Here we go. I want to get so today we're going to pick the card but everything is healing today we need to um, release a lot of things that we've been holding back 
I am signing in on my son's account. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Welcome. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Hi, Marie-Lise. Courtney, hello. Hello. Oh, let's, you know what, guys? Do the sharing, and when you do, you go on the list if you want to share, only if you want to. But when you do share, do post, say here, uh, shared, and that way, hi, Taylor. I put your name, and when the fairies and the angels decide to pick up who's going to read the cards to, we're going to pick it from the list. So if you guys share, and share the love, because a lot of people may need this healing. If you like what you're seeing, if you like what you're, if you're enjoying, let somebody else enjoy as well. Erica, Erica is in. Erica is in. And if it's only Erica down, then Erica is going to get the read. <laughs> But if you guys like this, if you like what you're going to get today, we're going to have a lot of um, we're very well energies. That's for sure, Courtney. Courtney. Um, the energies because we have the blood moon, Marlini. Uh, the blood moon and an eclipse at the same time. So, hi, Karen. That is going to be such a, cr it's crazy. Our poor bodies, our pure, poor human bodies. Are feeling it you guys feeling tired I know you're feeling exhausted and a lot of uh, negative things you think is negative but it's what is happening is um, uh, it's not uh, a, a lot of things are happening right like yes uh, some you lose animals you lose pets some may lose a family member friends um, you bring back some of the past into it so it's a lot of chaos going on plus we also have uh, a lot of male planets um, on retro so that's not helping it's just one after another we're all bombarded with all these energies and so we need to learn how to you know everybody who is in the earth class and the magic class uh, you guys so far I know you're feeling good because we had the class yesterday and we connected and we were doing some work that we know how to utilize instead of um, instead of making it against us we use that energy for our own empowering and so Karina Karina is in Karina is in Sherry Sherry, so uh, uh, I know my students are harnessing this energy pretty good with the exercise and the stuff that we're doing. Hi, Jenna! <laughs> so, yeah, um, also, uh, but a lot of you guys don't know, so you are kind of like in the, uh, uh, you are, don't, don't get the victim mode, but don't get the victim mind, guys. Susanna! But you are being uh, a victim of this, all this energy being bombarded at you. <laughs> That's good. Oh, nice. Uh, drive to the beach. Be careful when you're watching this and driving. Be, be aware. Only somebody else is driving. So just be aware. Um, Mary Liz. Mary Liz. I'm writing your name. Sunra. Sunra. Today we have a lot. Egypt, I brought Egyptian energy and Egyptian magic uh, to help us in a little bit of release. Carl's in the beach. Yeah, Carl, good for you. Good for you. You guys can always watch this later. Jenna! <laughs> so, yeah, the ones who are sharing, your names are going in the list. And a lot of healings today. We're gonna. I brought the red rose for healing. I brought the pyramid with he, for do the healing. And we're gonna release a lot of blockages that we have. And they are resurfing with the clips and all that. It's resurfing and make us believe that we are sad or upset or negative, but we're not. It's just our minds playing games. Um, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, and she's on there. Come on. Come on, okay. Kim, yes, you're in the list, you're in the list. A very emotional, very tiring. Uh, Jenna, Jenna, Jenna. Jenna, hi. You love Egyptian magic. We'll be taught also in the magic class, one step at a time. Patty, 
one step at a time, guys. Everybody's gonna get so much learning in that class. And if you guys want to join, you can always join. Anna, and Bunny, you can always join and follow it at your own pace. And you, if you join, like say you join today, you will, you can go to the classes that are, they're already there and, you know, start doing them and working on that. Nothing better than do joining and starting a fresh beginning now. Hi, Candace! And now with this, uh, you know, full moon, you know, we're going to release garbage and then we're going to move, move into harnessing our energies. So that class, guys, it's amazing. And it's a journey. It's not just, hey, it's not just um, one thing. It's going to be so many things. Again, we started with earth magic. We're going to move into air magic, then fire magic, then water magic. Then we're going to move in, into spirit magic. We're going to have sacred geometry. We're going to have Egyptian magic. We're going to do so much more. I mean, it's countless countless this this uh, class empowers you You will be empowered thyself you will be know thyself you will know yourself more and you will know basically you will harness your energy your magic who you are inside and shine it out hi Christy <laughs> you will shine out that energy that magic that you are you know and um, a lot of things you guys the students who are with me you a lot of things you did not know and so far you're like whoa really and yeah and so powerful it's so powerful so powerful hello Nicole Johnson hello did you get your wants yet <laughs> John Juanita 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 uh, I saw your message and I replied I don't know if you got it because a lot of time when people message me in my store uh, and I reply and they don't get it. So uh, if you didn't get my reply, send me a message here and then I can. Christy! Hi, Christy! You guys, uh, I love, uh, again, going back to my students, you guys are having such a magical moment. I'm loving, I'm loving what you guys are going through. It is just so magical. And I know you guys, if you didn't see that, right, you would not believe it until now you're experiencing yourself and you're like, wow. And that's again, it's just the beginning, just the beginning. Okay, I think I got a little list there. Everybody's here, everybody shared. Okay, let me see who, uh, if I missed your name, let me know. I have Erica, Courtney, Marlene, Kim, Karina, Sherry, Jenna, Susan, Mary, Lies, Ra, Son, Ra, uh, Rachel, Jenna, Patty. Jenna, you're two times. <laughs> you're sneaking in two times, Jenna. <laughs> I caught that one. I uh, and 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 I have uh, Juanita and Christy. Any? Did I miss anybody uh, that shared and I didn't wrote it down? Sometimes I don't see it, right? So what I want to do is I do want to see your comments. So I brought my little iPad here so I can actually, I don't, you know what? I notice every time I'm here, I, um, I seem to not, I don't see your messages, all of you guys. And then what happens is that uh, after the show, after the show, I see them and I go, whoa, I miss, and there's some, some of you, Candace. Candace, you're in. And after I see some of you really, Christy, you're in. Christy, yes. Uh, some of you are like trying to really talk to me, and I'm so not seeing you until later. So it's my apologize. Again, I want to do a, a couple apologies. One is some of you guys got unfriend, and that wasn't me. It just poof, you got unfriended from my page. My apology. You know, I don't, you know, I have not unfriended anybody. I have no issues with anybody. I love you guys all. And so, no, and so that was pretty not cool. And I, I love you guys. And there's no, I'm not unfriending anybody. Um, another one, some people got blocked too. And the reason I know is because they sent me a message. They sent me a message on my email. And so, and then I, and, and the funny thing is I tried to friend them back. And some of the, the got on friend that I tried to friend them back, it won't allow me. 
to do that. Some of you guys did, some of you guys worked and you're back. Welcome, welcome back. But some of them were totally, it even blocked me from actually adding you back. It's just like, uh, so I'm hoping this knickknacks will clean up. Again, yesterday also, I mean, this place really totally hides me big time. And so yesterday I was trying to do a post here during the day. Wouldn't allow me on my own page. <laughs> it wouldn't allow me. So <laughs> you saw butterflies today. Oh, that means, oh my God, butterflies are beautiful. You know, butterflies are showing you how they are stuck in a cocoon and they're not pretty, right? They're like, they look like a worm. But when they come out, they have beautiful wings, right? And that's you. When you, you we all stuck in this box of these programs and we don't know ourselves very much. And so, but when we finally start waking up and we start finally realizing who we are and we start finally realizing our magic, we get these beautiful wings coming out and we shine and we're so like beautiful like the butterflies. So basically, the, if you see a lot of butterflies, they're telling you a message, telling you a message because a lot of people are not aware that they need to invest in their time on themselves. Sometimes we're too busy investing time on everybody else except for you. You need to invest time in learning and opening yourself into more, uh, you know, to learn about your magic. And that's why one of the things I came up with is with this course, which is an ongoing course, and it's going to help so many, so many to unfold their magic within themselves and come out of this box, you know, that we all live. Go into the other round where all the magic is and get off the program round, you know. <laughs> Should we have a crystal out with the clips? Absolutely. I have I have my ones, all my ones being charged tonight and pull them put in the I've been charging it for three days because you can have the, 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 the energies already of the full moon, it's three days ahead. So yeah, I brought some in back inside here, but then they're going back out there to be charged on the full moon. So if anybody's getting a one or everything, I'm not sending it out today until Monday or Tuesday. That way they keep getting more charged during the weekend too. So they're going to be fully, fully charged. I do have some ones, by the way. I have, I have, uh, <laughs> I'll show you guys. I have some new ones. Look at this. I have some birds birds look at that <laughs> this is a beautiful bird uh, they're both birds and what they're telling you they're the message they both have amethyst okay it's got the rainbow aura crystal angel rainbow aura and it's got also rose quartz the reason I put rose quartz and amethyst is because when you combine those two it's very powerful like love and not only to attract love, but if you are in a relationship, to keep, and when you put amethyst, it's so you can connect with your third eye with that love and be logically and to be powerful and not just foolish love, but a, a smart love, the true one, the one that is not gonna fool you, the right, the, the, so you, when you connect amethyst and the, and the pink quartz, that's me, you're going to be able to choose wisely that person. And if you are with somebody, you're going to be able to connect wisely with that person. The bird means you have the freedom. You're free. You're free to choose anything you want in your life. And the bird is beautiful. The birds are beautiful. And I've been going during this course, this class, I have a lot of birds been coming around me, a lot of uh, hummingbirds as well. And so I was inspired to do the bird ones very powerful very loving and very smart and very freeing because when you're holding this you know you're a free spirit you know you have your free will you will go in into your third eye using this again into your third eye with your amethyst connecting and then you're going to go in with your heart so as you connect with the smartness and the using your third eye and your intuition well your heart is going to guide you to the right place and you are free to you're free so the end beautiful so this two were inspired and they are 97 dollars if you're interested in taking one they're available i just finished them today 
I have other ones who are in the works, but they're not ready. Now, you guys like my Ankh? I do have Ankhs. I, this one is still not finished yet because the reason I didn't finish it is because if one of you guys want to take the, a bird and pair it out with the bird, it could be instead of just 97 and just 97, it would be 157. And then we can, um, we're going to put the same stones that the bird has and put some feathers that matches your bird. So it will be a nice set. That's why I haven't finished this just in case some of you guys decide that you want the pair for 157 and then once you say yes I want that I will if this is the bird that you chose I will match the one the this one to match your bird one and then you have a set isn't that cool <laughs> but that's what I did so far I didn't do too much I've been super busy I did have I do have some um, three sets of chakra mini chakra ones three sets so I'll show you guys really quickly uh, what the mini chakra is a mini chakra archangels one so this is what these guys are all about we have the each that's why they take a long time to make because each of them of them takes the same time as making one they all have their own crystal uh, angel aura crystal and they all are for one of your chakras you got your up here your third eye your throat your heart your solar plex, which we so need that so much today. And that's why I brought a lot of the golden colors today. And then you got your sacral and your root. At the same time, not only when you need to balance your chakras, you can also connect to an archangel. Like for example, the green one is Archangel Raphael. If you need some healings, you need some your heart, your feeling, especially again nowadays, we need a lot of healings. We're calling Archangel Raphael. And the white one is actually Jesus. Jesus is so powerful. He can help you in everything. And that is with your crown chakra. So if you in this set, this set with the little bag, it's 97 if you're interested. And these guys are going to go out there to be charged a little bit more with the full moon. They're going to keep charging too with the clips and all that. So I have three sets, orange bag, green bag, and red bag so let me you can send me a message if you're interested thought i show you again if you wanted me to make it like mine this is my unk i'm not giving this one away but if you like one of the unks just the unk with the rose i have three roses for three unks that's what i have right now so whoever who gets them first will get the rose and i will put also the bead rope so you will have the three symbols you have the unk the rose and you will have also the beetle on it. So powerful. Just holding this is so powerful. All this here, it's actually copper. And copper was gold in one time in Egypt. So yeah, I have three unks. <laughs> yeah. So let's put this down. Let's go into... <laughs> Don't worry, uh, if, you, if you forgot to do your crystals today, do them tomorrow again. Do you, can, you still have tomorrow to do so. Let me just get rid of this big thing here, out of here. Let's move into card readings, shall we? Pick one, two, and three. Oh yeah, I still have unicorn. Now unicorn here, also if you feel like you want the unicorn and the ankh, and you prefer, you, you want me to connect these two together you can have it as a set as well um unicorn is still around because it's telling me there is somebody out there who wants to go to but it hasn't seen it hasn't seen it yet the owner you see this once calls the person and so if the owner hasn't seen it yet the keeper hasn't seen it yet it will keep coming until the actual person sees it <laughs> <laughs> yes so if you like just the unicorn is 97 but if you like the set then it will be 157 and we will make the ankh to match you know 
your unicorn, you know, with the feathers and all the same jewel. That way it will be set up for you. If you're interested, send me a message. Or you can tell me here. If I have, if you told me and I haven't seen your message, just repeat it because I didn't see it. So let's see. Let's see. Um, let me see if I can see some of... I want to see bigger messages though. This is so little. My goodness. <laughs> Yeah, um, okay, I, I guess I'll see you here for now. If I'm having trouble, I'll see you here. Okay, so let's move into the reading of the cards, one, two, and three. And then uh, we are going to go do the little meditation, and we're going to bring in the rose. I'm going to bring in the scarab, and I'm going to bring in the ankh to give you guys that empowerment and uh, so we can release whatever all this and crazy energies that we're having right now so let's see so car number one so again car, no, car number one okay let me car number one has three cards okay car number one has three cards car number two has three cards <laughs> and car number three has three cards okay so we have uh, we're in for a reading what i did i pull I pull the card and um, how, uh, let me see my order here. Here we go. And um, okay, I pull the card. One is the card and one is going to tell you what's your solution and one is going to tell you what you need to do. Okay, so that's how I pull it today because again, it's about healing ourselves today. So let's start with card number one. Now, card number one, look at that full moon, and it's telling you it's stop procrastinating. You keep procrastinating, don't you, you? You seem to be always procrastinating on your decisions, especially now in the full moon. You seem to uh, be remembering a lot of things from the past and bringing them back to a shore. So what do you need to do, car, no, car number one? What do you need to do? Find some good meditations, okay? Meditations will help you so much, and we're gonna do one here right now. Perfect timing. And uh, and don't worry, and the card, the Egyptian says, don't worry about judging. You're worrying, you're procrastinating and doing something because you're afraid of judgment. Okay, you worry about what others may say. So how about we connect to ourselves and do some meditation, okay? When you do meditation, you connect to yourself, to your higher self, where you get a lot of the truth, okay? And then not the, the illusions on earth. We, everything on earth, guys, is a illusion Do you know everything on earth is an illusion so that's why it's so important to do meditations because the meditations will be um, taking you to your higher self and you're gonna get the information from your higher self the key is once you connect to your higher self remember to listen to your higher self and do not hesitate to do what it's telling you to do, okay? So that's car number one. Isn't that cool? <laughs> car number two. Say what you mean. Say what you mean. Again, you may be procrastinating about something you want to say or do. Let me just... Some, you may be procrastinating about something you want to say or do, and you're holding back. Know that the second is don't, you need to know that you have the support, not only from your friends and your family or whoever who is close to you, but also you have the support from the angels. The angels are watching you from up above, and they support you. And again, your higher self is amongst them telling you, worry about what others again you know stop procrastinating going back to car number one moving into car number two go ahead and say what you mean don't hold things back anymore go ahead and bow say it and again what's going to help you here it's one of the most important tools was the the tool the life the prosperity and the health which is the unk that's the one who's going to help you ground yourself the unk. If you already have an unk and you're feeling this, hold your unk. 
Hold your ankh, hold your ankh, okay? Put it to your heart, meditate with your ankh. If you don't have one, I recommend you to get one so you can do this exercise and you will feel the power again. The ankh is a symbol of life, prosperity, health, okay? It brings you the key to all knowledge. So you, just holding that vibration, you connect to a lot of energy. And also in ancient times also was a, a, a tool for energy, believe it or not. So also it, it's so powerful. And again, the fact that it's copper, as in Egypt, they used to have electricity in Egypt. What did they used to use? The conductor, they used to use copper, lots of copper. So copper was like gold to them okay so that was the gold for them because it was so powerful and holding your ankh it brings all that power and especially if you put up the like if you like again i haven't finished them yet because i'm waiting to see if anybody wants them the match and make but again if you like you can always have the beetle on it and you can have a rose uh three roses left three roses left for you know that they're beautiful Hey, beautiful. Card number three. Three. Have the courage. Have the courage, guys. Have the courage to go ahead. Again, you see how the three cards combine together? Have the courage. This is card number three. Don't be afraid. Have the courage. Remember, and the, and the, the key here is be like when you were a child. When you were a child, remember you will say, you know, look, observe children. Children won't hide things from you. They will actually tell you right in your face what they feel. <laughs> Mom, your hair looks horrible, Mom. Mom, you look weird. <laughs> kids, don't, kids will be honest with you. So that's what your medicine for you to get your courage. Become, remember, when you were a child, you didn't care. When you were a child, you didn't care what other people thought about you. You would just say it. I remember once my poor dad, my poor dad. Uh, I Okay, so what happened is um, a bunch of ladies got together from his company. And some of the ladies, okay, this is funny. Some of the ladies were talking bad about my dad's boss, kid. <laughs> and so I'm a little kid and I'm listening to this wacky, wacky ladies talking all this junk right about the boss's kid <laughs> and i go to the boss and say your your kid and they were saying something about his kid was too white he was too pale and i go excuse me sir you know your kid is very white it's very pale is he okay he looks sick <laughs> but i was repeating the words that the other ladies were saying <laughs> They were like, Shh. and I'm a kid walking around. I guess they underestimated me because I was a little kid. And I went to town. And, and the guy goes like, oh, why are you saying this? My dad, and then my dad goes, I, 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 didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say that because they, the boss first thing was thinking, okay, are they talking about me at their house about this? And then, of course, I had to say, <laughs> I had to say, those ladies in that corner. They say that your kid, it's too pale. I see that he's sick. He looks sick. And it's like, I burned those ladies, man. That serves them right for gossiping. <laughs> but again, the courage to be like a kid. Don't be afraid. You have the goddess Hathor, which she is so full of love. And he, she's so, you know, so godding, loving, and magical. And she knows that you have that magic and that power of your own inner child and to bring it out. <laughs> so going back to the cards again, you know, basically is have the courage to say what you want. Uh, have the courage to have say what you want and then stop procrastinating on it guys don't procrastinate anymore go ahead talk be a be up front say it don't hold back and just you know know have the courage to do so oh my gosh i know <laughs> how was you good i was a little kid and as kids we don't hold nothing back we're just blah we hear it we say it you know kids and that's you know what that's perfect that's perfect you know we should 
why do we stop being honest that way? Why, why do we stop being honest? You know, it makes no sense. But it's because as we grow, we grow into those programs, right? Let me have a sip of my tea. Mmm. <laughs> My students, I will give you my recipe of my magical coffee that I posted today and some of magical teas that I make so you can make it at home and you can have the recipes and all that. Plus, you're going to create your own. So if you guys, let me see, um, if you guys are interested in joining the class, you can actually read more about it and I will give you the link here. And so you can become, you can get your magic out. Get your magic out there. Shine your magic. No more procrastination, guys. You know, to yourself, to your who you are. And that is what we all need to do. Let me find, let me find me somewhere here. Here we are. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> let me pin it oh if it lets me oh it's not letting oh here we go pin okay so if you are interested later on you can go check it out and i will be so happy to have you guys aboard it's a journey and it's a very magical journey okay so now that we see this we're going to go into the meditation as we say so i want you guys i'm going to bring my little pyramid here today i brought the six inch pyramid because i have done some recordings as well which i'm going to have them together combined to reinforce us in this meditation so we're going to release past stuff guys we're going to get rid of that we're going to welcome in the good stuff okay and we're going to meditate on this message as well as as a lot of past a lot of things uh, we need to face our fears and confront them and allow us to proceed into our everyday. You know, guys, sometimes we bring back past. You know, the past is not repeating itself. You're just bringing back all those emotions and all those thoughts. And then you get all depressed and you get all sad. And a lot of that is happening right now with the moons. It's very, very, very easy for us, our human mind, to do that. But then you get yourself into that downer, feeling the same emotions. Remember, every time you bring something from the past, try to bring something fun and that you make you laugh. That way you'll be laughing in the moment. But if you start bringing sad stuff that happened to you, which it's already happened and it's not, not happening. It's not happening anymore. It happened already. So let it. you need to let it go because it's not doing serving you any good. You need to take those lessons and move forward and don't allow that to stop your now and your future. Don't allow that to block you from succeeding, from being your shining you, okay? So do be more um, aware of those feelings, okay, guys? It's so important. So let's, let's all close our eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And I want you guys to feel this white light coming in through from your crown chakra. Coming from your crown chakra. Coming from your crown chakra into your heart. White light coming, 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 coming into your heart. In your heart, it's spiraling, spiraling, spiraling. And what it's doing, it's actually collecting love as it turns around. As it turns around, it's collecting love because you have so much love in your heart. So now it's going down into the rest of your body and then it's coming up. And it's coming up in your head again, like the ankh, and back into your heart. See that white light doing that through this whole meditation as well. It's going to be doing that. It's going to be just doing this. 
and it's going like the shape of an ankh as the ankh it's life it's you know brings you health brings you prosperity brings you love it's the key to knowledge so we're bringing all the energy into us and we're bringing the ankh energy including the rose The rose is standing you all right now with the red rose, bringing out your beauty, your fire, your love, helping you bloom your magic, bring out your passion to life and everything, bring out your true personality, Bring your victories out. And that's also the red rose. Also, it's a symbol of conveying anger, hostility, chaos into love. And it's also consciousness as you project your inner dreams into the material world. It's very powerful. Take that energy in. Feel that energy coming into you. Feel the energy of beauty, the fire, the love, the passion, your vision, your victory, and your dreams to be in the material world. Thank you, Red Rose, for your healings today as we need this empowerment. Keep breathing. I'm not done yet. I'm bringing in the scarab. Scanning you all with the scarab. As the scarab brings you protection. Brings you power. And brings you eternity. And good luck. And it raises you to the sun. Scarab is... Scanning you right now. Feel that energy in your solar plex as is the sun. The sun energy right into your solar plex. Your solar plex is your power. It's the yellow. It's in your belly right there. Feel that energy coming through there as that's your power energy. And again, you're protected. Only love, joy, happiness, wealth, and health can go in as we have the Ankh bringing that just life prosperity and health that's all we can get in we are protected to only receive those things feel that energy in your soul plex from the scarab of good luck feel your power feel your protection and allow the sun your energy to charge you back up as after this meditation, you're not going to feel tired anymore. You're not going to feel tired any longer. Thank you, Scar, for your powerful feeling, for your powerful energy. And again, I bring in the Ankh. The Ankh, life, prosperity, health, abundance of wealth, abundance of everything, as it is the key to all knowledge and I am giving you the symbol of the Ankh for you to take it in into your energy and feel that power within yourself as you are a creator a magical being with all these powers that we just embedded in you all the symbols keep breathing and keep in there Bringing the power of all the pyramids in the entire world to beam the light into everybody who's taking in this healing. 
beam the powerful light to empower you all to cleanse you of anything negative that needs to be cleansed from the past. Release, release, release. Powers of the pyramids of the world. Shine your light into every being that is open and with the free will accepting your light to cleanse us of negative energies, negative encodings, anything negative that doesn't serve us any longer and get them out of our system. And we command them in the name of Jesus Christ to get out. They're no longer welcome in our being. I call Archangel Raphael to please put your green emerald light into every being who is watching this and is willing to take in your light and by free will allowing your healings. Archangel Raphael, guide that energy into every being and as we have cleared out all the negative energies, now fill them up with the energy of love and healing. Love and healing. I want everybody to feel now these beautiful hands in your heart. And those are the hands of Jesus. Jesus is putting his hand in your heart so he can, everything that we remove, he's filling it back up with unconditional love. Take a deep breath in. Let's just stay there for a little bit. Feeling that love. You may feel tingles. Or you may feel goosebumps. But that is the hands of Jesus. Right in your heart. And he's just sending all this unconditional love. He's filling in all the voids in your vessel. With unconditional love. Keep breathing. Let's enjoy the silence for a minute. Let's enjoy that feeling. As we're all blessed, we are lucky and we have the power in our hands. Only you, 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 can change your life. You need to take your action and change your life. Now take a deep breath in and start coming back to me. And you can uh, go ahead and comment what did you felt? <laughs> what did you feel during this meditation? Oh, that was good. Oh, that felt good. I felt that. I don't know if you guys felt it, but I felt it. <laughs> Calmness, beautiful. Calm you down. I know a lot of people were hyper and yeah, it was <laughs> crazy energies. <laughs> you felt your solar plex. Good, good. That was intense relief. Oh, that's awesome, Jenna. Peaceful, happy, intense heat. You felt calmless. See, I can read them here faster, guys. I'm reading them here. <laughs> you feel secure.
strong energy, Isabella. Yes. Very centered. Donna Lynn. You feel fresh and new, Sherry. That's awesome. Oh, you guys are amazing. You feel tingling, Lucy. Calm, beautiful, beautiful, safe. Felt everything clear. Beautiful. Your Donna, my hands are extremely hot, but I feel so grounded now. Great. Candence, I feel calm. Beautiful, guys. You guys done amazing job. As you guys accept these energies, basically you are, I'm just channeling it and helping you, guiding you, but you're doing your own work yourself. So all these feelings you guys felt is your own magic within yourself. Ida says amazing. Isabella feels strong and secure. That is amazing, guys. That's amazing. I love it. I love that you guys felt this. So now that I made, you felt all that, guys, do you know that you are your own creator of your own magic and you have created this? I just guided you to for you to bring in that into yourself. You are very powerful. You do that. You do. You are you. You know, you are responsible for that. You allow it. You open up. And as I was guiding you, you call in all those energies. That's magic right there. See? You guys are magical. Hi, Carl. Hey. <laughs> I just saw you now, Carl. I saw your little, little hearts there. I didn't see you coming, but I see your hearts going up. So... Yes, guys, that's why it's so important for us to invest some time in ourselves and learn who we are. What do we like? <laughs> you needed, needed that much. We all needed it. Yes, Carl. Uh, you know what? The energy is a little bit crazy. And a lot of you guys who are in the magic class, you, you, you are learning how to harness, how to harness these energies. Every time they come, you know what to do now. You guys got your little uh, assignments and all that. What you need to do when you get a full moon and all that. And you, I see some of you guys, I, your comments are like magical. It's like, because we're magic. And so what we do is when we are working on ourselves and we're learning how to waken up our magic within ourselves, Shay, you're magical as well. Yes, you are. Everybody's magical. You see, you guys starting to feel your magic within yourself. You see, you know, everything that we just did now, this meditation, that was your magic, guys. I just help you. I just guided you. But really, it was your doing. You did this. So you, what you felt today here was your own magic from you within yourself that is hiding. It's so crumpled in there. But, you know, with the guidance, I helped you unleash your magic. And you connected. You felt Jesus' hand because you connected to him. You felt all the, the solar plex and all that because you did it you connected to it because I help you what I did right now was helping you getting out of the this round of, of the box and we went into the other magical round where you connect to your higher self do you connect to yourself to to the to the divine and you can shine your magic it takes practice but once you start working on it life will change life will change life change when you put time and invest in yourself, life changed. And I, I am proof of it. When I started learning all this, as I told you guys in the class, I only, all I had, I didn't have crystals. I didn't have any of these pretty things. All I had was a simple stone, okay? But I believe in myself and I invested in myself and I put that time and I invested and I took that time and I made made the time so I could learn, so I can do this, so I can do my journeys and all that. I put effort and I'm so grateful from that one time when I started. And I know a lot of you guys who are in the journey are already feeling it. And it's just the beginning. <laughs> it's just the beginning. And you guys, anybody else who wants to join, more than welcome. More than welcome. The link is there anytime and you go at your own pace. 
anyways guys how about we move on now into reading everybody uh you know let's see if the fairies and the angels will pick some of you guys for car read sounds like a plan <laughs> <laughs> again guys um let me just again those who want um who likes the new the new ones let me know okay is the magical birds these magical birds bring you into your freedom and they also have amethyst and rose quartz as you connect to love but in a smart way in a more you know smart way not just foolish but you know your higher self your you will connect to your third eye and your intuition will guide you to the right love not just to another love that will hurt you but it's gonna guide you to the right one and if you already have a partner it's gonna keep that I was in a great harmony with the one that you are right now so and you are free that's why the bird free to fly and go on your journey and do what you like to do and follow your life as these little birds are teaching us the freedom so these two are available just finished them this morning if you want to pair it up with an ankh you can do that again i have ankhs that i didn't finish yet and i did them in purpose just in case you will want a bird to be paired up with it and so together we i'm going to create to pair with the bird with the same stones as the bird that way it will be a pair very powerful pair because as the ankh we all know what that means it's powerful and the same goes to the other bird if you want the ankh to be paired up to the other bird or i still have i still have the unicorn and again this unicorn i wanted to keep it myself but it keeps telling me no it keeps telling me there's somebody out there that needs it needs to go home to somebody but that somebody hasn't seen him yet or is thinking about it but it's uh, uncertain and the unicorn says yes you're my mommy you're my mommy I want to go home with you so it won't let me keep him. now the, the the other unicorn Donna the the one that you got the one the unicorn the stuff I have the brother <laughs> we're sisters that one stay with me that one to stay with me that's not going anywhere I wanted to do keep that one this one too but this one say no so this one wants to go home to whoever and again we can do the pair again and put the you know things that the unicorn has into the ankh and i still have the blue one by the way this blue one here blue one has the scarab it's got the ankh right there okay and it's got all this lapis azul the blue rainbow very powerful again if you want to pair it out we can do that as well that's why i didn't finish this one here just to make sure i will have this for you guys uh you love the pa patricia do you is the unicorn want to come home with you patricia was it patricia is it want to come home to you and even has the little bells that it scares away negative energies you guys know I have a lot of bells and stuff. This bells scares away the negative energies. Yeah, Donna, we have the same stuff. The other stuff wanted to stay with me, did not want to go. My ankh, I did put the rose. I had three roses. If you guys want an, an ankh made like mine with the rose and the scarab, I can do that. I have three roses. Okay. And if you, um, who, again, if you're interested, guys, let me know. The ones by itself is 97. The ankh by itself is 97. The pair, the ankh and the one, and the one is 157, which is a great deal. And again, I have three sets of mini ones, mini angel ones, three sets. I got three mini ones. The blue one paired nice 
with an ankh. Juanita, do you want that? Would you like the blue one with the ankh? Let me know, and that way I put it aside and I don't offer it to somebody else. And then we can work on the ankh to make it paired up. And Patricia, you want the, the unicorn, honey? You want the unicorn? I'll write down your name, that way I won't give it away. Let me know. I won't make another unicorn like this. I don't have another unicorn like this. So this is the last one. And unless by miracle I find another one, I really fell in love with them, but I can't find no more. I wanted to make more, I cannot find no more. So <laughs> you want it, it's yours, and you get to take it home. <laughs> Let me know. I say yes if you do, and then I write it down your name, and then I'll know that this beautiful beauty is gonna go to you. See how beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it doesn't wanna stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful, but you don't want me. <laughs> you don't want me. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is a great deal if you want the unk. Yes. 157. Because by itself is 97. By itself is 97. But together will be 157. And again, if you choose the if you want the unicorn with the unk, we're gonna make the unk to match your unicorn. And if you still want the rose, we'll put the rose for you. And then and if you want rose and the beetle we can put that and we can still match it to this one here I have three roses and I have one two I have three three onks and three roses <laughs> so if you like that let me know I sometimes again I don't see the comments but feel free if I don't if I'm not telling you oh I, I congratulations it's because I didn't see your comments send me a message and then we'll talk about it and I'll send you the links and we work on it okay let's move on into into reading the cards yes shall we let me see let me make sure let me make sure I didn't miss your you know what this doesn't show me everybody so you guys let me know later uh, or you can send me a message so Guys, I apologize again for Facebook, which has deleted a lot of you guys as my friends and is not allowing me to friend you back. I apologize if you're blocked from doing things in my page. Again, it's not me. And you know what? I tried to fix that and it won't let me. To the point that I couldn't even post on my own page neither, guys. So just if you can be here again follow me here and try to enjoy the show as much as you can I apologize for that it's not my doing and there's nothing I can do with this is a free program so I cannot even complain and saying hello <laughs> I can't even complain because it's free <laughs> So we can do the best we can but you know what I you know a lot of uh, some people again I got messages saying that they got blocked it wasn't me it got blocked and again some of them I managed to bring back some of them I managed to not couldn't couldn't it won't let me hi Paul hi Paul look at that look at that Paul <laughs> Look at that. Look how powerful the one has become. He's got a rose now. <laughs> the power of the rose. And there, um, by the way, I put the other day, um, I put, uh, th there's a lion pennant out there. And I say, whoever who shares this will win the pennant. And I have a winner. Who is the winner? It's Guess who won the lion pennant? Who do you think? Not Paul. Not Paul. You didn't win it. <laughs> because, and thank you so much for sharing. You love your one? Oh, I'm, Paul has one too. But he doesn't have a rose, but he's got very powerful. He's got the blue one, and it matches his, uh, his uh, stuff. Hopefully we, we we'll show it tomorrow in the show, Paul. You show them your 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 uh, your unk. It's powerful, isn't it? When you grab it like this, you feel like those gods and goddesses in Egypt. You feel that power. They used to walk around. Okay, so Egyptians, the 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 
the gods and goddess, they used to walk around with this in their hand. And they used to sometimes take it to them. And even in tombs and uh, uh, scripts, every, you see everywhere. Because this is so, like such a powerful tool, such a powerful symbol to have, guys. Powerful. I'm telling you, you know what? Since I, I connect, started connecting to it, I have found out so many, like you guys think I, I, I'm knowledgeable and all that. You guys know that I know that I know that I know nothing. And I'm always learning. I have learned so much when I connect with this. And I know a lot of you guys who have it, you feel that energy, the power, And you have learned so much about yourself and about how to connect with yourself. And you are getting a lot of gift of life which what I have learned is actually it's a gift of life that I got I was practically I don't again I don't want to talk about it yet because I, I need some time to actually prove it but I will talk about it I will talk about it hopefully within a month or two months okay <laughs> okay so let's pick somebody where's my list here it here's my list let's pick somebody Oh, I was saying, uh, who won? I don't have the pennant with me. I don't have the pennant with me, the lion pennant, because I already shipped it out. <laughs> I was so happy when the person that won, and it was so, so, so that person. And thanks for sharing. When I uh, say share this, I mean it. When I say I'm going to give you something. And some of you get surprise gifts in the mail sometimes. I do that, right? <laughs> I do that. So the winner of that, of that lion pennant is... Dun, dun, dun. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I think you're here. Carl. You are the winner of the lion pennant. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! You are the winner. You are the winner of the lion pennant, Carl. Thanks for sharing. And you got the lion stuff. And you are the lion. There you go. Pow, 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 pow. It had to. It went to you. So thank you so much for sharing. I still are another post there. Say share this and we'll win a rose. I still have not chosen a winner yet. The lion was just so wanted to be chosen right away. So, yeah. <laughs> and for my students, students, I did a little meditation and uh, your names came up. And there's about five mystery roses in your way and you will know when you get it in your mail I'm not gonna say who it is <laughs> but when you get your rose I want you to journal what you felt when you get the power of the rose um, it was it was a game that I play with the bell and your names popped up so when your names popped up, you were chosen to receive a rose. Those are for my students in magic. Guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of that stuff. So be ready on the class because a lot of surprises <laughs> for the students. <laughs> it's just the way I like playing the game, okay? So five of them. Is it five? I think it's five or six. No, actually, do I, have, do I have the names? Let me see. I can tell you right now. I can tell you, I won't tell you who it is. A mystery. It's the mystery rose. You guys were wondering. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven of you. Seven students. Whoa. I just hit me. It's seven, the chakras. Oh my. How? Wow. See? Like that, it was just magical. Again, I allow the energies to do that and pick pick seven mystery roses are on your way to your home. Give it about two to three weeks to four weeks. It's a little bit slow shipping and all that, but give it some time. And But it will arrive at a perfect time when you need it the most. And when you receive it, again, I want you to journal what you felt when you get it. And then you, you share, post in our group that you received it and tell us your experience. Yahoo! <laughs> I meant to say that yesterday in class and poof, I totally forgot to tell you. So I thought I'd tell you guys now so you um, will, uh, I will not forget to tell you that. Yeah! <laughs> 
So yeah, students, be prepared for more surprises, but this is the first mystery, mystery rose out there. Woohoo! <laughs> Congratulations. And again, there is a post, a, a post going around, say share this and you will win a rose. You will go in a draw to win the rose. So keep sharing that and you'll go enter that, that and keep sharing this too, because if you share this, it's gonna go into the draw to win that rose. So keep sharing. Not only you already share for, hopefully the angels and the fairies will pick you, but also to go into the draw to win the beautiful, powerful rose. I don't know if Carl heard this, but I hope you did, and I'm sure you're gonna come back and listen to it again. So, okay, let's start. Uh, what I wanna do is this. I want to bring my crystal ball. Let me put this down here. Crystal ball is a little bit heavy, so I need to open a little bit of room here for the crystal ball, because we're gonna use the crystal ball for the reading. Here we go, there we go. Crystal ball looks like the full moon today. <laughs> okay, guys, we're seeing the eclipse. We <laughs> Diane is doing the eclipse. Ooh. Wee. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. <laughs> I'm weird. I'm your weird friend. <laughs> it's the blood moon. <laughs> I know I'm weird. <laughs> oh my god. Again, guys, laughter going outside. It just gets you out of that that crummy mentality sometimes. And a lot of things, guys, a lot of things are um Going back to the retro, that a lot of the planets uh, are male, are retro. So what you need to do is not taking the negative stuff that blocks your computer, blocks the people and all that. Don't, don't, and the ones who cannot do anything here, guys, just enjoy the show. Enjoy the show, enjoy it the best you can. If you cannot comment, that's fine. I know you, you, your comments will be beautiful and I love it, but if you can't, you can't. It's unfortunately, this, I can't have no control of it. But enjoy the show. Hope, hopefully you can watch the show. Some of you guys can even watch the show. So I hope you can at least enjoy the show. Take in everything that I have to show you and tell you, enjoy it. Um, these energies will cause things like that to make you frustrated, will cause your computer to freeze, to make you frustrated, your phone to go crazy, to make you frustrated and upset. And people are all over the place out there because a lot of the people, when you go outside, they don't, they're not understanding what we understand here. Remember guys, we're in a different, when you come to my world here, you come into the other realm. And because I explain you guys, and a lot of you guys are already aware of different energies, so you're more connected. But a lot of, there are a lot of people who don't understand our world at all. They are in a box. And so they are so controlled and programmed by everything that is bombarded at them. As we block them and we just cleanse them out and we constantly, it's a constant work. It's a constant work cleansing and fighting against that. But we have to be on top of it in order to not allow those energies to, to, to take us, to take our power, to take our joy, because that's what's going to happen. Now, I want you guys, instead of going to the victim mentality, instead of taking it, oh my God, what is this happening? The fact that they are the male energies, use those male energies, which they're powerful. The masculine energy is power, right? It's power. Like, you know what? I'm in power. So use heart. And so we're going to not take the victim and that, but we're going to grab that energy. And we're going to bring it into us, bring it on and empower yourself with it. Use it and take command in your, in your life. Take charge of things that you need to do. Just go ahead and use it. Instead of, or instead of allowing the energy to put you down, you're going to grab it and use it, step over it and jump out and you're going to harness those, neg those, not negative, those male energies. And the male energies are more rough, right? So sometimes in, in some dealings that you need to do, you, know, you got to be more, you know, uh, you know, secure about it, right? That's a male energy and more in control. So you can control those energies to be at your benefit and not against you. 
So that is what we're going to do. And that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, if you're, are you on? Do it. And take charge. Take action. Start taking action and taking care of yourself into, uh, you know, into waking up yourself, into healing yourself, into learning, into knowledge, okay? So as well as I have this course going on, Paul has a course going on as well. And together, those two guys, guys, you will never be the same, like Paul says. You do these two courses, you will never be the same. Never be the same. You are going to learn how to know yourself, how to connect like we did earlier. You did it yourself. I just guided you, okay? But you're going to be able to do all that without anybody else telling you because you're going to be so automatic in doing that, okay? How to be in the matrix, but at the same time, you are not in the matrix. When I walk into the matrix, I am in my world still. I don't, and I go with that bubble and I go protect it, okay? That is magical. And then you can actually create magic out there in the matrix and nobody even notice because you know. And guys, yesterday in the class, remember I told you I protected the area. I was in public, right? In a public place. And I protected the area where <laughs> I say nobody will pass the circle. And people will actually walk right where I put the circle and they will walk away. <laughs> they will come that close and they will walk away. That was so funny. That was so funny. And it's so fun observing that magic that you have created is actually working you're not hurting anybody you're just protecting your circle i say only the good people with good energy can pass by the ones who have negative energies are not allowed so they got to go the other way and that's what happened it was amazing <laughs> it was amazing let me um see something um let me just see something here hmm Okay, so now this is not working. So here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh well. I don't know. I'm still gonna learn how to use this thing things here. Okay, so let's go back into reading cards, shall we? See, what's that? See, I can't read some of the stuff I cannot read here. Okay, already, already, guys. Let's get into car, some card readings, and then tonight, guys, don't forget everybody who owns a one. Everybody who owns a one is part of a one group, and tonight at seven o'clock p.m. Pacific time, again every full moon, I come on live, and we, you guys, all of you guys, got your um, P, your your message and the information to do the spell, and we're all together gonna create the spell. Seven o'clock Pacific time, live in the magic room, secret room, where all the one owners, so if you own ones, you belong in that group, and you get access to all those spells, and you get to do the spells with me together when I come live, and you get to do it on your own too, because you get the access to that. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so let's see who is my magical one going to pick for car read. Do, 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 Jenna! Jenna! Where's my pen? Jenna! Hi, Jenna. You still here, Jenna? Jenna. Jenna. Are you still here? Jenna. Do I see Jenna? Jenna, Jenna, do I see you, honey? Are you here? Because you are to be read. <laughs> there you are. You're still here. Yes, great. Perfect. See, I didn't see you there, but I see you here. Perfect. <laughs> okay, Jenna, let's see what your cars have to say. Whoa. <laughs> that was that was earthquake. Look at Paul. He's got roses going on. <laughs> Paul, you're into the rose energy. You are in the rose energy, Paul. Yes, it is. Okay, Jenna. Let's see what 
everything is telling you here. Jenna, for some reason, I see okay. Oh, my God, Jenna. Wow. The Virgin Mary is holding you with so much love. I saw her, you in her arms, and she's looking at you with so much love. And you know I hardly talk about the Virgin Mary, but that is what I just saw, Jenna. And then the cards pull love and miracle. You are miraculously loved. You are miraculously loved. Feel that love that divine is giving you. And the Mother Mary is holding you in her arms. So I don't know if you have a connection to her or if you ever done, but maybe you need to connect to her. I'm not sure if this is making any sense. Let me know, Jenna, because, you know, I hardly... I, and um, I, I think only once or two times I talk about, about the Mother Mary, but today she's so strong here with you. Wow. I want to see if Jenna replies to this. Jenna, Jenna, Jenna. <laughs> Jenna, you're so love, and she's holding you in every, every step you do today. Or for now, like, I don't know if it's from today on or she's been holding you. You never connected before to her. You know what? It's maybe you should, when you do your meditation, um, try to connect with her. That is so beautiful. You know, I, uh, again, I do connect a lot to Jesus. But today we got Mother Mary holding Jenna in her arms. That, I mean, I'm like, I was like, I, I couldn't take my eyes off it because it was so beautiful what I was seeing. I didn't want to stop looking at it. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And she had, has you in her arms and staring at you with so much love. You are love. And so start having that self-love to yourself as well. Okay, honey? And that was your read, Jenna. That was an amazing... I felt that and that I felt that I was I was awesome. I felt that. I felt that. That was fantastic. I, I love it. I love that energy. Like, wow. I like that, Jenna. That was so nice. That was so miracle and so beautiful, honestly. And so maybe all this time you have not noticed. So now it's time for you to know this and connect to her. Connect to her. Um, you know what you do? Uh, if you can go into either on you on online and take up uh, uh, get a picture of her. I think. Do you got my um, my sacred geometry? Did you got the ones with all the pictures? Because I have my Mother Mary on one of them. You know what? I'll send you one. I'll send you that picture because sacred geometry and it's got all the geometry and it's got Mother Mary on it. I will send you that, and then I want you to meditate to that. Does that sound like a cool thing? Uh, free. I'm sending you the the picture of her. You can either, either print it out, or you can see it from your screen, or you can put it, uh, save it on your, on your phone. I'll send you that picture and meditate to that picture because it's got the sacred geometry energies as well, so I'll help you connect to that. Yes, Jenna! What a gift today. Well, let me make a mark of that. Jenna, send. Before, we, I don't want to forget. So send Jenna the photo of Mary 
from sacred geometry okay already done it's done it's a done deal i'll be sending that to you yeah <laughs> hi tamara welcome Woo, that is so oh my god i'm still like in that one there that was so beautiful that was so beautiful guys that is so beautiful Jenna, you're doing a lot of miracle things. Wow. I mean, oh, whoa. <laughs> I am so amazed by it. Okay, let's pick another person. Let's pick another person. Ta -ta -da. Yay! I will, as soon as we finish the show, I will deal with some, some of the people maybe who wrote me a message. If they want the one, so I'll deal with them, and then I'll send you your picture. I'm going to try to do today that before this spell tonight. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and for those who would like to wake up your magic, you want to wake up your magic, you want to connect yourself into the divine and know who you are, empower thyself, there's the link to my class. It's an ongoing class. It's not just one thing. It's not just one thing that here you go and you're on your own. No, it's a journey. It's a journey to empower yourself to know thyself and to shine your inner magic out guys Wendela joined this I am so proud of her of joining this class I'm so proud of her I love the way she is she found no excuses she just went for it and because she followed her heart so uh, and a lot of you guys you know Wendela, right? She, she is legally blind. So what is your excuse, guys? What is your excuse? This woman, it's gonna, I, she's going to go out there and she's going to inspire so many beings, okay? And she inspires me. She inspires me big time. Carl, you inspire me a lot too. Carl's been through a lot, through a lot, to the point that he couldn't even walk. But he had no excuse. He didn't find an excuse. He took charge of his life, and he's doing so well. And you too are going to go inspire so many. Because people, it sticks, they find whatever condition they have, they use it as an excuse to not grow your power. So don't do that, guys. There's no excuses. It's just a matter of you being ready now to take in charge of your life, no matter what you have, no matter what is in front of you, you take charge of your life. Don't allow anything to victimize you or stop you from getting to know yourself and empower yourself and go out there and shine your light because you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. So guys, there's the link, whoever who wants to join into that. I will, the, the price is just amazing. I mean, if you buy coffees a month, that is not even enough to buy a coffee, to be honest with you. So that's how the price is. It's affordable. So guys, enjoy it. Take advantage of it because the prices may go up in the future. As it grows, it may go up in the future. This material, I paid thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And I'm still spending thousands and thousands because I'm still learning. And I'm bringing that all to you for fractions of pennies. You know, because I want to help you. I want to help you. But there must be an energy exchange. It's very important for it has to flow as you give, you take, you give and take. It's not all the time giving, it's not all the time taking, but it's a flow, it's a magical flow. And the more you go with the flow, the more abundance it comes your way. And the more you go, the more abundance shall come to you. How? <laughs> Let's find another person, shall we? Doo -doo -doo. Sanra, are you still here, Sanra? Sanra, Sanra, are you still here, Sanra? Yeah, Sanra, Sanra. Let's see if I see Sanra here. Are you here still, Sanra? I know usually Sanra stays through the whole show unless you got kicked out or something. Sometimes you guys do get kicked out, and that's very understanding me. Let me have a sip of my tea while I wait to see if I see Sanra here. Any of you who would like a read to be part of the list, you need to share, and then your name will go on the list, and the angels and the fairies will pick your name. Uh, if they pick your name, it's because you have a message for everybody 
And if they don't pick your name, your message from somebody, it's a message for you. So you never lose, you never feel left out, you know, and if there's a healing that needs to be done, we'll do it. If there's any chakra balance, we do it, okay? So Sandra is not here, I don't see him. So let's find another person. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, Sandra, there you are, there you are. Sandra, oh my God, almost left you. Sandra, I see you now, I see you now. Okay, Sandra, let's see. And you say share, let me see who say share here. Tamana? Tamana, here. Somebody say share, I just didn't catch it. Oh, Michelle, Michelle say share, okay, Michelle. And guys know that if you're lying that you share, I would know that in the future. And then next time, I won't believe anything you say. Because <laughs> I go after and see who share. And if I get a, a read on you and you say share and you didn't, and I find out that, then you have broken my trust to you. I try to trust everybody without having to doubt anybody. I, some of you guys have said share before and they didn't and I don't trust them anymore, okay? So do you wanna lose my trust or you wanna keep my trust? Because in this life, so much you can trust. <laughs> okay. Tamana, you share? Okay, Tamana, Tamana. Because after, I, because the ones who share, remember, I, got, I have to go back. I'm going to go get your names, right? And I'm going to put your names into the draw to win this, right? So if I don't see your name, it's not going to go in the draw. Even though you say share here, but if you didn't share, you're going to win nothing. Because really, when I go catch your names, they're not there. <laughs> it doesn't show that you share. So <laughs> that's how I, I know who have, who have share and who have say share and they didn't i know who they are so it's okay you know what then you didn't go in the draw then you don't have another chance to win and next time i won't pick you uh, you know the angels and the fairies won't pick you they don't like that and the fairies the fairies are beautiful but they have an ego and the fairies will stumble you or something if you if you lie if you do things that <laughs> to hurt others or if you hurt people or if you hurt animals the fairies are the animal angels. So if you're hurting animals or you're hurting Mother Nature, they will kick you. Um, and, and and a way of kicking you is that they figure uh, something that that is not fun for you. And if you <laughs> they'll get you. <laughs> it's not me. It's just the fairies. That's the way they are. Angels are not like that. Angels are, they don't care. Angels are not, they don't have ego, so they don't care. You can do whatever you want. It's fine. <laughs> you have free will. <laughs> but the fairies are a little bit funny in that sense. Okay, so we picked Sandra. Sandra. Okay. Sandra. Sandra. So there is somebody in your family who's got black hair, long black hair. It's a she. She's beautiful. Who is this person? And you have dreams of this person. And I think she's part of your family or a family tribe or something like that. Let me know if it's making any sense. So she is practically telling you that some of your dreams are not dreams. You actually ask for traveling. You're actually going out of your body. And you're connecting to this beautiful person. Dark hair, beautiful lady. And she could be your guide. She could be your guide. 
I don't know if you've seen this person in person or if you've seen this person uh, in your dreams. So I wanna make sure I'm in the right page with you. Sunra, that's Sunra. Sunra, yes, it makes sense. Tell me, tell me a little bit, I wanna know, are you dreaming it? I'm trying to see your comments. Um, I don't know why it's just not showing me the comments. Let me if I go this way. Maybe I'll see the comments better this way. Let's see. Let's see if I can go this way. I can see comments better. Do, 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 do. Comments, where are you? Goodness, where's my comments? <laughs> yeah, uh, you have black hair. So maybe it's you because she's so beautiful. Um, long black hair. Are you seeing yourself in dreams? Again, so then, then what I'm getting here is, is your higher self of you. Have you seen yourself? Uh, so with, so you're not seeing yourself in dreams. What I'm getting is that you, then that was your, probably your higher self trying to talk to you, trying for you to tell you to connect with your higher self, yourself. And I, I don't connect to just send that message, but honestly, I don't like to connect to people's higher selves. That is your private, your own you, okay? So I don't, a lot of people have asked me what does my higher self want from me, and I don't, I don't want to go there because I don't want to go in there and put my energy, even though my energy has great intentions, I don't want to put my energy and interfere with your connection. You need to find, in order to empower yourself, you need to be the one who connects to your higher self. Because if somebody else is doing it for you, it's disempowering you. So I know it, she's giving me that message for you. Don't ask me why. Wants you to connect to herself. I am not going to do that because I don't do that. Oh, hello, Deborah. How are you? Welcome. I'm not going to do that because I feel that even though, I, again, I have good intentions, I don't want to interfere with your connection and your energy. That is your personal you. So... A meditation I recommend, and Paul and Daisy have amazing uh, meditations on YouTube. So feel free to Google meditations and find one that, there's one that is uh, the I am, the I am. I think the I am will be good to clear you there. It makes sense now, right? Okay, perfect. It makes sense. Um, do go to pick or whatever meditation. I have a couple of musical meditations that you can use the music and just connect to your higher self. I have done a live here somewhere all the way down that is connecting to your higher self. Maybe I got to come back and do another one to help you guys. So maybe I'll do one. Maybe I'll go find it and post it on YouTube and then post the link here so you guys can have that link and enjoy the connection to your higher self. Uh, but it's, she's beautiful, which is you, and she's saying to thank you. Thank you for the poem at SantissiMeditations.com. There you go. Thank you. Um, and that connection, that when you do a connection with her, with you, with your higher self, she's going to guide you to a family tribe. Okay, so there's a family tribe. I don't know if you already know about this family tribe, or you are going to end up finding your family tribe and that could be here with me or could be with somebody else i don't know what your routines are but it could be that you join the class too and that you will find that you should see the students they're amazing they are an amazing family tribe to hang out with i so love my the students so far and the course they are so gifted and they are so miraculously amazing this is people that you want to know and this is people that you want to hang around with because they are beautiful and that to me that's my family tribe because they are so beautiful so you got to find out what's your you know who you want it where do you feel that you feel at home and then but that will be a connection when you do with your higher self she will guide you she will guide you beautifully your heart will tell you what is best for you and so that was for you ah. <laughs> hope that makes sense to the whole thing 
I know sometimes, some of the readings, sometimes when they are from divine, they don't make sense to us. So I try to interpret that as best as we can because they talk different ways than we do. <laughs> some of the stuff that they try to tell us sometimes with a ringing, you hear a ringing in your ear. And <laughs> for us humans, is what is that ring on my ear, right? It's then trying to tell you something, but you're like, oh, it's just a ear. Oh, I don't understand. When I started connecting to them, I had to tell them, can you please slow it down, slow it down, slow it down? I don't speak your language. Please slow it down. I want to understand this. <laughs> you are welcome, honey. You're welcome. You are welcome. Let's pick another person, shall we? Let's see. Let's see who will be next. Ah, da -da -da -da. Yeah, that happens to you sometimes. When you hear that hearing, it's either your guardian angel or somebody from the divine is trying to tell you a message. But for us, it's so... <laughs> what the... <laughs> okay, let's pick another person. Let's pick another person. Sherry! 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 Sherry, are you here, honey? Are you here, Sherry? I think you're still here. I think I saw you. Sherry! Sherry! Sherry. <laughs> yes, Donna. I see. I see Donna. It was great, right, Donna? Isn't it amazing today? We get some kind of like connections. It's a lot in divine. I noticed that a lot of like from Mother Mary to your higher self there. And wow, Sherry, there you are, Sherry. Let's see what Sherry's one will say to you. Let's see. <sighs> Sherry, I'm getting numbers for you, 11 and 3. <coughs> I'm getting the number 113. I'm getting the number 6. Write it down. Write it down. 11, 3. Six, eleven, three, one hundred and thirteen. You wrote it down. <coughs> Six, three, eleven. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So. I want to do something with you that is something to do with your uh, your numbers those numbers I don't know maybe I'm feeling that maybe you should buy a number with the number six the three this uh, the three and then uh, 11 so let's see six Three, eleven, two, three, six, eleven, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, okay, and fifteen. Okay, so write these numbers down. Actually, I'm going to send you a message with these numbers, okay. Because if I tell you, then everybody's going to go buy the same number. <laughs> I got six numbers for you. I don't, I, I don't quote me. You may win, you may not win, but it doesn't hurt to try. Buy those numbers and I will uh, share it. Send. So I got a, a message to send to, I got a lot of things to do here. So Jenna, send her the picture. Sherry, send numbers. Let me just write them down. Okay, I'm going I'm going to send you a message after, okay, with those numbers. But also there's a message between it's something to do with 
blessings are in your way. So I'm getting blessings are in your way. <laughs> like just blessings. <laughs> and there's an angel sprinkling some, some stars on top of you. Giving you that fairy dust on top of you, blessing you. What you can do too, research, research the number three, which that means angels around you. Research 11 and then research six. Research those, but also I will send you that, uh, those numbers. It doesn't hurt to try. You know, you may win something, you may not, but it, you know what? Sometimes they send us messages and I feel that I had to give you that number and you may win, you may not. Don't quote us on that, but it doesn't hurt to spend $2 and you may have a chance to win. If you win, remember me. <laughs> And just again, enjoy your inner child. Keep being that beautiful inner child. Keep bringing that out all the time. And enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. That was weird. <laughs> I never got, today I'm getting all things that I never got before. So it's a lot of new energies coming in. And it's awesome. I know. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm actually loving this. This is so fun. Okay, let's see. One more person. <laughs> Let's get one more person here. This is kind of fun. Ta -da 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 -da, ta -da 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 -da. We're ha Are you guys having fun so far? <laughs> Susanna. Susanna, are you here, Susanna? Are you here, Susanna? Woohoo. Susanna. <laughs> Susanna, are you still here? Oh, Susanna! <laughs> Rachel, she says, yes, is she here still? So you saw Susanna. Okay, so Susanna, let me see. There you are, there you go, Susanna. She's here, yahoo! Let's see what Susanna's uh, read is. Susanna! Susanna! Are you, are you, do you have a partner or no? Because I'm getting something with soulmate. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. You're in the list too, Donna. I got you there. I wrote you down, okay? Susanna, just let me know if you are in a relationship or not. So that I can uh, direct, okay. Because it's telling me something about soulmate, okay? And so I want to make sure it's not a friend soulmate or a partnership. But I'm getting more it's a partnership. Uh, so let's see what this is bringing us to us today. It's better without the glasses. Do you know somebody who, who starts with the letter A? The name starts with the letter A. So I'm getting a letter A. So you will meet somebody with a letter A. So you don't know that person yet. Or it could be um, something from your past. It could be something from your past life. Okay, let me see more. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, so... You need a core cut for something from your past which you still brought it into you as a victim conscience, okay? And this had stopped you from actually meeting a soulmate. So we're going to do a core cut if you like it. We'll do it right now. And anybody who needs a core cut for anything that you need uh, 
for the past connections that are just in your way. Uh, we're gonna con cut the cord, and so anybody who wants a cord cut, you're more than welcome to receive this. Would you like a cord cut? We're gonna cut, it's a victim conscience that you have from the past, that in the past, this person's name started with A, but again, we don't know your past life, so it started with A. So I believe it was Aaron, Aaron, Something like that, Aaron, something like that. Um, something happened, it was your soulmate, but it, something happened and you remain with a, you know, a victim conscience after that. And you brought into this life. So you came back into this life now to challenge that. That's one of your missions. And so you've probably been having a hard time meeting your soulmate because you are into this conscious victim mind. So once we cut that off, you're released. And you need to go out there and know that your soulmate will come, it's getting, will be getting closer to you. You'll find that soulmate that you will rekindle things from previous life. But because something happened, and what, what I saw was is that in that past life, something happened, but it, you remain a uh, victim mind, uh, conscience, but it was actually a misunderstanding, okay? But you never cleared that misunderstanding. That's why guys, that's why guys in life here try not to perceive things, try not to misunderstand things because you may take it with you into the next life and keep dwelling on the same that if any time you doubt somebody if you have question just like the cards one two three confront say the truth and tell them and ask them you know what i'm under this perception i don't want to be uh feel that um wrong uh but i want to make sure with you and face the actual person don't just um you know don't just how do you say don't just perceive don't just assume that that person is this and that don't just assume that that person is hurting you confront the person because when you do that you don't take that to the next life so this is what happened to you in the previous life you were with your soulmate and something happened and you guys fought and you remained and it was a misunderstanding it wasn't even uh something for real it seemed like it was a misunderstanding with another person who went and blah blah you about your soulmate and you you chose to believe this other person which poisoned you and you broke up with this person so when you now when you went back right uh, you decided to come back and make things right see is it making sense so now that you when you passed right when you passed you left the vessel and you passed. You decided to that you wanted to come back because you found, once you passed, you find out truth and you saw the truth. And that really, you know, you go, my God, that was my soulmate. And I misunderstood that person. And all this time I've been on a, you know, feeling, um, you know, wrong, which was never wrong. And I fought with this person. I broke out with this person because of a misunderstanding. And so you, but you came back with that victim consciousness. So it's blocking you from meeting him again. So we're gonna cut that off. Makes sense, right? Perfect. So now you came back with your mission is to find him again and make things work better, which that's so awesome. <laughs> but we're gonna release that conscience mind, that, that, that victim, guys. The victim is such a blocking thing. You want to get rid of that victim mentality on every case and everything. You are not a victim. You're not a victim. Take responsibility. And if you are being told things, confront the person, tell the person in face to face. There's so much gossip. People love to do that. People, if they see you happy, and this has happened from the beginning of times, if they see you happy, they'd love to go in there and disturb the happiness. And they will try to tear out your happiness and your joy. So make sure you protect that all the time. So let's go into the core cut, guys. Everybody, take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. As we call our King Jamaica to please cut the cords of past lives that are holding us back. 
any of these past lives that are, has brought us back here with a victim mentality, we're going right into the core and we're going right in, deep inside. We're going to take it out, take it out, take it out with Archangel Michael's Sorrow Light. He's going to dig in there and pull it out. It's out. It's out from the root. It's out from the root. Still there. Keep there. Keep breathing because I'm bringing you now. I'm going to bring you Archangel Raphael, and I'm using my mini wand for that, Raphael. I'm bringing Archangel Raphael to fill that void and heal you. Heal it. Fill that void with love and healing, healing. As we just cut something, right? So it's a cut. So why are we just healing that cut? Because we went that deep in the root, we pulled it out, and so now we're healing that area that... It, we took a big chunk out of it, okay? We took a big chunk. And so Archangel Raphael is giving you that healing back. We're smoothing the area. We're caressing that area just to heal it, heal it. Feel Archangel Raphael with this green light. Feel that green light just, you know, showering you and surrounding you with that green light, green light of emerald light of healing of Raphael. Now I'm going to bring with my mini one, I'm bringing Jesus, the energy of Jesus. And now he's going to fill that with love, self-love, unconditional love, universal love. Keep that love alive within yourself as you keep yourself that love you will shine that love into others and every living being in this planet take it in guys take that love take a deep breath in and let it out fully out Whew, let it out that was good how do you feel did that make you guys did you guys felt that Wow. Today the reads are have done a, a higher step for some reason. They ended up going really on the vine and really wow. Whew. <laughs> you are welcome. You are welcome. And again, today was about healing. So we needed to be have a lot of healing, right? And so this is what it's all about today, healing, healing, healing. And because of this moon, this is when we take advantage. This is beautiful. It's a, it doesn't happen all the time with this eclipse. And the wind the eclipse, a lot of things will refer, resurface, which is perfect because those resurfacing that are coming out, they're being holding inside you, causing a block. So when they come into your face, that's great. You can face your fear face it and look at them and tell them if you have a one tell them thank you so much for all your lessons but you're not needed a hit anymore so i command you to leave in the name of jesus christ Pow! <laughs> or get out and let it go let it go and now you start fresh new beginning guys you also should consider doing a DNA activation, which that will cleanse all your energies, balance all your energies, and open your little buttons that are closed so you can let divine light in. You start fresh, you start fresh. There's this imaginary, I won't even say it, that I only say everything when we are on session and you'll be amazed at what happens in the session. I don't wanna say it because people will try to copy and they will think that they can do what I can do because I said it and then they say, I can do it too and they have no idea what I do. So when you are in a session of the inactivation and some of you who have done it, we're amazed, we're in you. <laughs> I know, I know. So, but that is a private thing, a one on one, and uh, nobody should. I never will bring you life or anything like that. That is your private time on you. Uh, I refuse to do somebody life DNA activation. I won't do that. That is your time and your own energy. So, when you have people watching you, other energies can. You're so open when you're doing a DNA activation. You're so open, so anything can just jump in. So that is just something you and me will do. 
So if you're interested, go ahead, let me know, and I will let you know. I have a PDF out there that you can actually, I'll post it later, a free PDF that you can read more about it and find out more information about it. And I, um, I have the coupon for $25 discount, whoever who wants it. <laughs> Yes, it wouldn't be right, right, Sherry? It wouldn't be right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah. But, you know, I, I just uh, don't, anything, that, any work that I do with my people, that remains just between the person and me and nobody else. It's just your own energy. Again, don't share your energy too much, guys. Your energy is not to be shared. It's your power, and you don't want to give it away. So, again, if you guys like the energy of my mini ones, my angel chakra mini ones <laughs> it's amazing sherry isn't it <laughs> i hope you enjoy that sherry i hope you guys enjoy this so far but I, you know if you like that energy of the mini ones i have three sets i have the red bag set i have the green red set and they take forever to do so i cannot make too many at the same time and i have the the orange one. So again, you got the Jesus one, like I use it on you right now, and Archangel Raphael as I use it to you. But you also have Archangel Gabriel to ask for assistance and guidance. You have also for your throat chakra, to open your throat chakra. You have Uriel to help you and shine that illuminating light. You have Archangel Michael for protection. So this little mini set it is amazing i love i have my set i have these three and i have my set i won't let my set go the same as my unk if i run out of unks the people you guys have to wait until i make more because i won't i won't give my my away my unk you guys want to see my unk my unk is a match too i have a match too see the unk matches this one and actually it's a, a black look at that how beautiful and this is mine this is not going anywhere <laughs> It's mine. <laughs> but unless it asks me to go somewhere, I will allow it to go. Sometimes crystals and ones want to go to somebody else. But don't want to. The same like this one here, I wanted to keep him. But he keeps telling me there's somebody out there who is going to be its keeper. Okay? So it doesn't want me to keep it. I want to keep him. He's cute. And he's so beautiful, but he doesn't want me to keep him. He just keeps telling me, keeps showing me my keeper will come along and see me. So I don't know if the keeper already seen it and is thinking about it, or it's going to appear one of these days. And when the divine time will happen, it will happen. <laughs> right, Donna? I know it. Eh? Isn't it funny? And I do have, again, this mini sets. Anybody who's interested, I uh, have three and uh, hopefully I can make more, but they do take a long time. Each of them is the same time of, as one. So can you imagine, I made three sets, three sets of seven. <laughs> and they don't take, they don't just do it overnight. They have a lot of energies. All these ones, they have energies of angels, fairies, my frequency of it too. So all of this together, you got a very powerful tool. And so in this one, you see the birds? Do you guys see the birds? These birds were, I mean, they just decided to come out. And these are for love birds. Again, if you're looking for love, these are the perfect one to have because I put the amethyst and the rose quartz. Amethyst, both of them, amethyst and rose quartz. What is the combination of them two helps you find the right love and connect to the right mind with the right intention, with the smart and, you know, knowledge of the person, not just foolish love, but you will find the right person. And so if you're looking for love, one of these ones will be so such a good friend to help you in that journey. And the little free birds, as you have free will and you are a free being, and it's teaching you that you can be, do, have anything you want as well. And if you like to pair the one with an ankh, which I have three ankhs that I made, but they are just plain because I didn't want it to, unless you want to pair it, and if you want to pair it, I will be able to pair them up. And if you want the pair, it's only 157. 
as one by itself is 97 and one by itself uh, uh, um, uh, one of this by itself is 97 but together you get a great deal for 157 so why not why not empower yourself and take advantage of the great deal um, they yeah they are so beautiful I love them I still have the blue one as well a blue one this blue one has the unk on it it's got the scarab okay and if you want to also pair it up with an unk we can do that so you know or if you have if you have ones and you feel that you want to have an unk to match one of your uh, ones let me know we can work on that for you so there you go guys and again if you want to join the class which is a magical unleash your own magic from your heart there's the link feel free to join guys and I will so welcome you in the other round where the magic is you and you can shine your lights now I must go because I will get I have to get ready for our spell it's spell time for all the one owners it's spell time seven o'clock pacific time so right now it is 4 57 it's five in two hours meet you guys back in the one club and some of you will pick up a one today we'll make sure you get in the one uh club right away and that way you don't miss the spell and you can be there even though if you don't have your one if, I mean these ones are going back out there and being charged with the clips and being charged with the full moon so I'm not saying I'm not shipping them today because they're gonna be charged but if you purchase it today then we're gonna get you into the club so you can enjoy the spell tonight at 7 o'clock you love the blue one too well let me know if you want it if it's calling you to be yours let me know uh, send me a message I didn't see any comments that say I want it or not but if you're interested send me a message here uh, or on my front page and I will answer you and give you the link and we make it happen and we get you in and we get you into the club and we have fun thank you guys so much happy full moon Thank you for being here. We'll see you next week again. We'll see you soon. See you next week here on the Fairy and Divines, Angels and Fairies Advice with Diane. They have been so beautiful today. Uh, the energies are beautiful and are, we are all blessed and you're blessed. So know that. Guys, thank you so much as I always love to give you a heart because I love you and I appreciate you and I'm very, very great for you guys so thank you so much we'll see you around and have a good night and i'll see you guys in the one club doing the spell for the full moon tonight bring your wands bring your spell bring your products and we'll we'll do that yahoo check it out bye guys ciao